How are you? Cool. Good, good, good. Um, so, I guess let me just jump into it. Do you consider yourself a rapper, a songwriter, or a composer? Uh, that's a tough question. Um, I would say more so a writer, and then everything developed behind it. Okay. What do you like doing most? Which one? The writing and composing, like just creating something you thought from your mind and seeing it come together. Okay. So what's your favorite part about creating music? Um, beats, like listening to sound, because it brings like, it brings words out and melodies out. Mm -hmm. And then it makes it easy to write, because now you have something you could zone into and put words to it based on the feeling that it, it curates for me when I'm in there. My first song was kind of like just a bunch of freestyle. I tried to sing first, the melody sounded horrible. So I'm kind of in a rampage in the studio. I'm like, um, do anybody in here know how to sing? So an engineer came and said, I know a singer. And then I guess the singer came, I sung the melody she laid it down, and then everything I freestyled, I was able to structure it, take it home, find out the pattern when I flow, and then really write to what I was really trying to convey. And then for my first try, it came out good. And then, but I felt like a weight off me after that. And after that, it was like me going to a gym, you know? So that part of it, I like. And then so now it kind of gives me a discipline, like when I feel a certain way or I'm kind of lost or upset, I just know I got to go to the studio. Okay, okay. Well, I did have a chance to hear some of your music. When I heard Be Strong, what it sounded like was someone who was wounded, almost, like... That's fair to say. That's a, is that an accurate... Yeah, because even in that song, that's what I like about when I'm writing, is like, um, I kind of give myself advice too. Usually in my music, like, usually mostly in my choruses, it's me talking my pain, but my chorus is somebody else talking to me, and I don't know where it comes from, but somebody else is telling me, yo, just be strong, and things of that nature. And, and I'll just explain why I feel the way I feel or whatever it is I'm delivering at the time. Be strong. I'm done putting niggas on their feet. Forget you were broke next to me. Same nigga now getting bread. Forget it's cause my helping hand. Now when you down, you come around. Now you stay down, I ain't around. That's how I move on you clowns. This shit is real in my town. Now go play dead, don't get shot down. My family fled, I've knocked up now. My brother's mad, I ain't around. Shit fuck my head up, want them proud. I left the streets home helping out. Guess what had happened, a new child. When money gets thin, they ask you out. I know I'm strong, I dealt without. This life of mine gets hard at times, but I will survive. But what don't you know? There's a pot of gold on the other side. The other side of pain is what I made. Be strong and climb. Be strong and climb. Be strong. Let's Ride? Yeah, this is my favorite song. I think it's the first time I'm saying it too. It's my favorite song. Let's Ride? Yeah. Okay. It sounds kind of like, um, like the follow-up to Be Strong. Yeah, I could see why you would say that. It's kind of like Be Strong was one way, but like Let's Ride was like, okay, let's get on our grind again. Let's do what we got to do. Yeah, because if you notice in that song, it started with like an R&B, like it could have been an R&B song. Mm -hmm. And then, um, but pretty much I was just trying to say like, like, dude, like if you with me, if you're my friend, let's ride. Like, let's stop bullshitting each other around. Let's stop, stop all that fake shit. Um, chicks, if you're dealing with 
someone stop all that fake shit. Like, let's really just take this and, and go. And sometimes in my music, I kind of try to appeal. Like, I don't want to be too, what's that word? Misogynistic too much. So that's why I show a lot of my vulnerability. Like, I'll shout out my wife in there too, because it's like, that's my home base. Like, sometimes, like, she'll tuck me off the ledge a little bit. But sometimes as a man, I get embarrassed too, because I be so far left. So that's be my shout out to her to be like, yo, I really pulled back, even if you don't see it. I really pulled back. So I always put something in my songs and to let people know, like, you know, like, I'm locked down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, got me, yeah. So, but yeah, it could have easily been an R&B song. But that's one of my favorite songs. Speaking of R&B, it sounds like um, a lot of your influence in your music has, um, like a lot of your, your, your music has, like, a, like you said, a heavy R&B influence. Um, it does. Like, uh, Can't You See? Yeah, it was funny with that one. I was, I was mad. Everybody said I couldn't rap. But I was like, man, I ain't, I ain't really trying to be a rapper. I'm a writer. But I'll show you I can write. Mm -hmm. And then, um... Two things influenced that song was um like again I was a barber so I used to cut like celebrities hair and then um I used to cut Joe's hair as well the singer Joe and then um he he was trying to do the same concept Babyface was doing but he was the first one with the idea what concept like how Babyface came out with a song like the 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 album with Tony Braxton, mm -hmm. like he he would have been the only male feature, but he would have did an album with all the female singers. Babyface just did it with one, and then um, that song was I was supposed to give it to him, like um, pretty much just write it, let him listen to it. When I wrote it, I let his um, road manager hear it. He asked for it, but I didn't want to give it up because that, that song came from like a true place. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's really those like arguments me and my wife had. It was cool. But That's I, funny. I, I had to show like my, I could write and I could write the song. If I would. That was a really good song. It actually, um, that was um, something that I thought about. What uh, can't you see? It sounded like, um, a love letter to it, your wife. It was. So that's accurate. So that's cool. I mean, it's like you're putting a lot of your vulnerabilities into yeah. the music. And it actually reminded me of um, that Mary J. Blige and Casey collaboration, I Don't Want to Do Anything from like. You know, I grew up in that music. era though. So subconsciously, that's my influence. Like, if. Like these things come out, I don't, like in the universe, you pick up things as you walk, and then you get in different positions in life, you're just going to regurgitate in some way or fashion things that might have influenced you indirectly. So I noticed that in my, in my music, you know, but 
that's how it comes out, that's how it comes out. Outdoors, even if it means that I end up in the morgue So be it, I gotta go hard, trying to stay smart You been there, baby, let's not fall apart Yes, I take off so the money grow long It do take time to build this platform Don't go bye-bye, don't leave me gone Just one more try, and I'll be there When you look at yourself now Versus when you first started What would you say was like the biggest change That you witnessed within yourself? Just learning the business, more so before I was just doing it and I was just spending money a lot. So I kind of had to learn the hard way to get the sound I want. I would have to like put a whole team together, but I had to go through that to know, so. Okay. These are tough questions. You're making me like go back <laughs> and think. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's, that's, that's part of your journey. I mean, it's all part of your experiences as to how you even yeah. ended up at this point in your life.